So on to my Nays products that I would not recommend for you to purchase to begin with. NYX, they came out with a palette called Brights, which is a dupe of the Urban Decay Electric palette. When I first saw this in the store, I was excited. I was like, ooh, a lot of bright shades and they come in mattes and shimmers. But then when I tried putting tried doing looks with this at home. The eyeshadows were patchy and then within it, an hour or less you couldn't even see the color anymore. So I would not recommend this one. The next product that I want to talk about also for, from NYX their eyeshadow base in white. I was trying to find a base to put on my lids so that afterwards any color or eyeshadow that I put on would be true to pan. This You might as well just use white eyeshadow because this has the same effect. In the pot it looks like it's going to be super, super thick coverage but on the lid as you're blending it, it's so sheer. So I would say no to this one. And you remember how earlier I was singing the praises of Tarte's blush in Sweet? Well, remember the duo also comes with their Lip Surgeon's lip tint. This is one of the smelliest lip products. And when I mean smelly, I mean waxy. It's so distracting trying to apply it that I would not even want to try in the future to use this. Which is a shame because I have no problem with the color. It's, it's a nice warm peach tone. But they, they really need to redo the formulation so it smells like sugar or fruit, like any other scent, but, but not flat out wax. And I know a lot of people like the Too Faced uh, Perfect Flush Blush. This one's in Peach Peach Beach. I mean, definitely the packaging is adorable. But as I've been trying out other blushes, like from Tarte, from Tom Ford, it, this the color payoff with this just doesn't compare with the, the other products that are out on the market. So I would say a pass on this one too. And then my biggest disappointment for this month is Anastasia Belly Hill's Moon Chow Glow Kit. I was so excited when I ordered this and I was so excited when it arrived. But uh, man, I was when I tried it on, and believe me, I gave this a try. I tried every single color. It did not look right on me. I thought at first maybe it was my application because at first I was using my beauty blender. It was looking patchy. Later on, I used a fluff brush. Finally, that was making it more even. But even so, I noticed with, um, especially with the more, I guess, unique colors like Blue Moon and Purple Horseshoe, you can only put it, or for me anyway, I could only put it around my cheek area because like anywhere else it just looked funny and not flattering so more often than not I had to use the shade blue ice for like the areas on my forehead and my nose and my chin I guess out of all the colors the the easiest and most flattering was pink heart but I don't want to pay forty dollars to only have one color that works well plus with so many um cheek and highlighter products to choose from in the market I yeah I want and expect better so definitely I'm gonna return this one so I hope you liked my uh, recommendations or non recommendations especially with the nays um, comment below if something worked for you out of the products that I mentioned or didn't work for you and please remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. See you later!